Hello everyone. Today I am going to introduce you to Microsoft Teams which is a new member of the Microsoft 365 productivity platform. Digital transformation is the latest buzzword in fashion. All gurus are talking of digital transformation but few are talking of how to achieve it. Here is some good news. Teams if implemented correctly can be an important part of your workplace digital transformation. Let's first understand the structure of the teams. At extreme left of your screen, you can see an activity icon. This is one place for all your notifications. Below that is chat. This is where you will do chat with anyone one to one. Next is the teams. This is where you will get your teams. In the screen, you see various teams like projects, operations, productivity. Each team has team members who can take part in team activities. Within each team are channels. For example, if you see the operations team, below that you will see channels like HRD, marketing, order processing, sales, support. This is because our operations team is involved in all the given activities. Now come towards the top right of your screen. You can see the support channel of the operations team. And there you can see three tabs. One is conversations, second is files, third is OneNote. And there can be many more. So now let's see what we can do with the teams. First is obviously chat. You can have a one-to-one -one chat or you can have a team chat. You can have a chat on the PC app, then move to the mobile and then to the browser. Everything is quite seamless and the chat is persistent. This means that you can just send a message without the other person being online. Just like our dear friend WhatsApp, which we all are familiar of. Teams is also available on all mobile platforms like Android, iPhone and Windows Mobile. Let's see how one to one chat works. So here you see a screen of a personal chat. This feature is quite similar to WhatsApp. By default, when you do a personal chat, the notification appears in the activity window. You can share files or notes in a personal chat. You can also make an audio call or a video call to the person with whom you are on a personal chat and that person can forward the call to someone else. How's that for corporate communication system? Now we shall see the team's chat. On the left, you can see the operations team which is circled and within that the sales channel is highlighted. This means that the chat is taking place in the sales channel of the operations team. The wonderful part of the text chat is that it happens in one single thread, just like Facebook. So even if the thread is long, the full conversation takes place in one single thread. Since there are many people in a team, if you want the message to be noticed by a particular person, you can tag that person just like in Facebook. At the bottom right, you can see a few icons. These are for smileys to make your conversations more warm and you can attach files and you can also have a video call. Let's move now to see how to access and work with documents. Teams gives you a great structure to store, access and work your documents. In the screen, you see the order processing channel of the operations team. On the right are various folders and files within the folders. This ensures that you spend less time searching for the document and more time working on it. There are a couple of ways in which you can edit the documents. What you see is an Excel document. You can use built-in Teams edit function or edit it using Excel online. Or if you want very advanced editing tools, you can edit it in Excel. Here, the document will call for Excel, which is on your PC. So Excel app will open in the PC and the document will open in the Teams. One very interesting way you can work is to have real time conversations around documents. What you see is a document which is open. In this case, it is a PDF. On extreme right is a conversation taking place around the same. Now just think of a proposal or an important tender or an agreement being made. Multiple people can see that document and also comment on real time. How cool is that? 
We can also use Teams to schedule meetings between team members. You can have an online Teams meeting. The link for the meeting can also be generated using Outlook. We can also use Teams to assign and monitor tasks. And we also get a great dashboard to have a single view on the status of all the tasks. We can integrate SharePoint document libraries within Teams. Here you see that we have integrated our sales proposal document library within Teams. So as a user, you just live in Teams. There are additional integration possibilities available. More to come later. Now a million dollar question. How do you get Teams? Well, if you subscribe to any of the listed plans of Office 365, you will get Teams. But care should be taken to ensure that it is implemented using world-class business processes, else it may end up in the digital dustbin of your company. Here are multiple ways you can contact us. We are a small company obsessed with productivity and security. So if you ever need to understand how to get more out of these two areas, you know whom to call. Suresh Ramani is the name to remember. Thank you for listening to me and have a wonderful day.